Yeah, uh, when the the first show coming out in eighties, it was a big, big、uh, sensation and the big news. Of course, I watched, and、uh, yeah, I, I would like to say thank you for the original series because that one introduced our culture to the world, worldwide. And then change the history, I think. And now sushi bar every corner, <laughs> you know. So that was,、uh, yeah, very great opportunity to、uh, Japanese. And、uh, this time, you know,、uh, few years passed, and then time has changed. And then everyone knows about. Our culture more than at that time, so that's why we wanted to try to make authentic as much as possible. As an actor. You know,、uh, I played、uh, the role in this period a lot, including Toranaga's、uh, model, real shogun Ieyasu Tokugawa,、uh, once in Japan, and the model of Ishido、uh, called Ishida Mitsuma, Mitsunari, twice, <laughs> and then all other many other samurais I played in this period. So. It was a good chance to learn about the background, but this time I respect the novel and then followed to our new script, to 2024 version of our script. Just follow that, and then more than like a real history, you know. So, yeah,、uh, I, we wanted to create our own version, original version. Kana te yori mo shiage te orimas tori. 拙者は将軍の地位などを望んでおりませぬそのような身分地なまぐさい昔の残象にすぎませぬ Both, both、um, incredibly difficult and incredibly easy.、Um, you know, when, when it comes to、uh, like Toranaga himself, I, I don't think, I, I feel like. You、Foregone know, conclusion. <laughs> yeah, you know, Hero was born to play that role. There was never anyone else、yeah. uh, in our minds. You know, the search for Blackthorn and Mariko was was a longer search for、uh, two completely different reasons. You know, for Mariko, we really needed a, a unicorn, someone who could not just speak English and Japanese with very fluid comfort, but act in those languages and find human nuance beneath. Those languages that would sort of cut through it, and you know, until we found Anna Sawai to play that part, I didn't even know if we could make this show. Yeah, she's more than just bilingual. I mean, she's bicultural, so she can inhabit both spaces fairly seamlessly. So yeah, and it brings this otherworldly quality to the role that if you were just going to cast someone who is just okay or or even very good. Uh, in the part, it, the, I don't think the show would have held up. I think you really needed someone extraordinary like what Anna was、uh, on the show, and, and is, and is in real life. Yes, <laughs>、um, you know,、uh, and then you have Cosmo Jarvis playing Blackthorn.、Um, you know, there are so many examples in the last forty years of、uh, actors playing parts like this, and you know, we were really looking to kind of shake that up. To say, you know, what is the punk rock version of this in in a certain way, and that's what Cosmo came with. You know, when he sent his audition in, at first I didn't even. It's like this guy's amazing, but this isn't Blackthorn. I don't know. This this doesn't feel like what we expect. And then it was only three days later we were talking about it on a Sunday afternoon, and it was like, what are we talking about? It's it's nothing like you expect. That's exactly why we have to cast him as Blackthorn.、And、it's why you he, why we kept thinking about him too. Yeah, like we couldn't get him out of our heads and. We ended up sending that audition to the network just on a Sunday afternoon, to just one executive, and within three hours, everyone at the network had seen it. And because it was just like like fire, you know, I mean, it just it just spread. And and Cosmo has that kind of energy to him that you know takes a role that you think you know what you're gonna get, and he just he just turns it inside out. You can't take your eyes off of him. So yeah, no, it was a really exciting process. 
Your orders, plunder any Spanish territory, reach the Japans, open trade in the New World. Which is why I'm warning you, please go to the Portuguese as soon as I arrive. Yeah, every day, good surprise, because they created the huge scale of the set. You know, even the castle, real size of stone walls, and then Osaka Bay with the buildings, and then whole village they created in the mountain. So every day surprising and then felt happiness <laughs> as a producer, as a um, actor as well but um um yeah so many extras in this show but they also had a training well so you know the marching scene the battle scene so epic <laughs> so every day surprise and uh, every day i had a favorite moment on set and and also you know it was a um, uh, biggest challenge is you know western crew and japanese crew working together but you know we created the great teamwork day by day and then we respect each other learning each other sharing everything and then try to uh, go to you know same goal it was a kind of, you know, dream team, East meets West. So our team were created this show. Uh, yeah, better and better day by day. Portugal and Spain are the two countries that are the same as the two countries that are the same as the two countries that are the same as the You know, I think um, we're of the generation who um, we all grew up with this book on our parents' nightstands, right? Um, it had this huge cultural impact that for us, you know, was really more um, like a silhouette seen from afar. And when I think of the book and the silhouette of the book, um, you know, I think of a gentleman who maybe looks a lot like me wearing clothes uh, bel belonging to a culture that's not his, um, which you know, when FX sent the book over at the very beginning, I was a little uh, conflicted about it. Um, there was the representational side of that, which, of course, but also just from a place of storytelling, like, have we already seen this story before? You know, Shogun had such an outsized impact. Um, so many movies, television shows based on this stranger in a strange land shape, right? That have been derived um, from Shogun. Um, are there really new stories to be told in this world? Um, it was only when we opened up the book and began to look at what Clavel's words were pointing to that we realized, no, this is an incredibly modern story um, still today that we could tell through a much wider lens with the technology available to us today, with the willingness of audiences to be able to engage with subtitled work. Um, you know, we could tell a really complex story about how we encounter each other, um, how we encounter other cultures and how we encounter ourselves um, in those other cultures. Uh, so, you know, there there began to be a bit of an urgency, I think, in today's landscape to say that this this story needs to be told again. Mm -hmm. um, and we felt very strongly. Yeah, yeah it felt um, uh, quite, um, what would the word be? It, it was it was surprising, but also rewarding to understand that here we go, we, we take this, this property, this event, the event of the book and how uh, we all live in the aftermath of its of its success, and we think, okay, what can we bring to it that uh, that is modern? And then we look to the book, and we realize, oh, it was already modern in that it was timeless. It was asking these questions already back then, and so our responsibility became to maybe borrow those same questions and and spin it for. Uh, for uh, or for the for the world today, you know, what 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 is that? What are those questions going to look like? Are we going to ask stronger questions? Are we going to ask uh, better questions? Are we going to make better mistakes along the way? 
この男よ We've shot this show all in Vancouver, Canada. Yeah, and but Canada,、uh, Vancouver had a,、uh, everything for the Samurai show, you know. Even in Japan, it's so hard to find a good location without the building, without the wire, electric things, you know. But Vancouver has, you know, just 30 minutes drive from the studio. They had forest, river, lake, harbor, beach, everything. So I, I believe it was a perfect place to create the samurai drama.、Uh, it was so much fun.、Uh, Cosmo. <laughs> It's a believable actor on set. Always concentrate, to keep accent all the time. He lived in Blackthorn's accent few months. He never talked like a usual way. Even at lunchtime, even off camera, you know, his concentration was great, phenomenal. And、uh, Anna played Mariko.、Uh, She's she's done a great job. I believe you know only she could do this role in the world. You know, her talent and effort, and perfect Japanese and English, and、uh, experience in the、uh, Western project. You know, so everything she had was made、uh, Mariko great. And、uh, our collaboration was so simple and fun. And then, yeah,、uh, I was lucky、uh, working with those great talent. Hey! Hey!